ChessLessons.net, and I'm going to be looking at a game from the 2007 Aerofloat Chess Festival held in Moscow, Russia. And uh, Ian, Ian Napolniachi is playing white, and Yuri Drozdovsky is playing black. So opening up e6, now knight f3, and knight c3. So this is the two knights attack against the French defense. And White really isn't aiming to get much out of this opening. He's, uh, it's, it's usually pretty solid but kind of passive. Although Nepomniachi does play a, a pretty aggressive line. So these are pretty standard opening moves. Both sides just trying to develop and, and fight for the center. Now bishop g5, so Nepomniachi declares a little bit of aggression, and h4. So I, I like the h4 move, I like the idea, um, just, you know, trying to play for a direct attack as much as possible. But the position is kind of, I mean, white doesn't really have, like, much, much, much potential for an attack in, in this in this position. So h4 is really more just kind of anchoring the bishop on, on g5. And now a very accurate move from Drozdowski. He plays queen a5 check. So first, he's getting out of the pin. That's no longer a problem. Second of all, he's, he's eyeing the a2 pawn. So if white's played h4, he doesn't want to castle kingside. And now by the queen eyeing a2, it's going to be difficult for white to castle queenside. So queen a5, very good move. Now knight g4, another very good move. Um, Knight d5 was possible, although I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it as much. Um, knight g4, because after knight d4, now e5, and the position is starting to get a little crazy. Both sides, or, or white, has two pieces hanging, but he's he's putting it all on the line for an attack. So Napomniachi is a very dangerous player. Queen e4, and now g6, the only move to stop the mate, pretty much, and now h5. <clears throat> so Napomniachi doing anything he can to open the h file. After bishop takes, pawn takes, and now f5, uh, definitely the best move in the position. Maybe, maybe uh, I think this is Napomniachi miscalculated in his attack here because after check, king up, and now bishop takes. If black does play knight takes, then yes, white white would have a very strong attack. I don't know if it's winning, but it's it's certainly very strong. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind, as rook h8 would fall to queen e7. Um, but instead, Drozdowski played king takes g6. He didn't take the bishop. And now white is in a, a lot of trouble here. Bishop takes f2. And after king e2, rook h8, so now black is up a piece. White doesn't even have a pawn for it, but black is still in some trouble. His king is still in kind of a sketchy spot. So now um, bishop to d2, threatening some trades, and bishop e6, an excellent move, very attentive move by Drozowski. And here Napomniachi resigned because he's just down a piece. I mean, you could see maybe um, bishop takes e6, queen a6 was the idea. So picking, picking that bishop back up with a check. And now queen d3 would be forced. And just taking the bishop, black is um, just up a clean piece. His king is perfectly safe, and white's king is actually in more trouble than black's. So in, in light of that variation, after bishop e6, Napomniachi threw in the towel, he resigned. Because his attack had fizzled out, and black was just perfectly coordinated and protected. So a very clean win by Drozdowski, a, a couple of accurate moves, and Napomniachi's attack was, uh, it just wasn't quite sound. I think he missed that king takes g6. So this is Will Stewart from OnlineChessLessons.net, and thanks for tuning in.